Hey guys, uh, I'm Jimmy Noble with the Noble Group, and the I'm new to the Real Estate Masters Guild, so I wanted to do something to contribute. First off, thanks for uh, thanks for inviting me into this uh, into this Real Estate Masters Guild. And the question was posed online, and it's a question I feel very strongly about. Uh, the question was posed about like, what do I get, top producer or realty juggler? What contact management system do I use? So I figured I'd put a video out there because people ask me, the agents in my office and marketplace ask me all the time uh, what, what contact management system um, to use. And I got to tell you, I've coached, I coached with Dirk Zeller for two years one-on-one -on -one, and, uh, and, and then I coached for a short time with Haas Pratt. I follow all the other guys uh, like, like, you know, like everybody else does you know, in regards to Mike Ferry, um, you know, in regards to Kinder Reese. Uh, you know, I've, I've pulled things and, and information, you know, from, from these different resources to help me further my business. And I got to tell you, I've, I've actually signed up, tried, and used Top Producer on three different occasions. And there's, there's, a, there's a big problem with it in my book. It, it's got an extremely steep learning curve. In, in fact, um, the, you can hire a virtual assistant um, who's trained in top producer. My point is, there is no program that I feel we should be using that you have to have someone trained specifically in other than real estate, you know, in regards to, you know, contract management, things of that nature. Our contact systems are supposed to make our life easier so that we can, um, so that we can keep track of, of, you know, what we need to do on a daily basis. Uh, so I figured I'd show you firsthand Guys, I am going to apologize in advance. This is absolutely not this. I'm not making Avatar 2 here, so you're going to get more of a Mickey Mouse, uh, Mickey Mouse video quality. But I hope that I can overcome the lack of quality with the uh, with the positive content and uh, and and win you over in regards to to a system that I use that I like. And you know, this is what I've every time I've I've left it on on the advice of of a coach or a mentor. Um, I end up going back to my same system, and it's it's Google. It's cut and dry. And uh, first off, before I actually show you the screen, I'm going to tell you the reasons why I like it. Um, nowadays, we're all using Android operating systems. Uh, you know, our little uh, Android phones, or we're using uh, iPhones. The PDA phone, the smartphone, is it's here, and it's so the products that we use need to sync, and they need to sync flawlessly. Um, my entire team, we all use uh, Android phones just because there's no other phone out there that syncs with everything Google related other than a phone that's designed by Google's operating system. So uh, it's, it's very simple. And the idea and the premise behind this was so that you could put someone in place in your team and have them, uh, have them follow a simple system that, that anyone can use. You know, we're all familiar with Google Calendar, Google Mail, Google Docs. Uh, and I'm going to go into a, a bit of, uh, of, of my own paranoia. I am paranoid of losing data. I mean, absolutely paranoid. So years ago, what I used to do is I would export on a monthly basis. It was actually a scheduled task in my calendar. I would export all my contacts. I would export all of my calendar events. Um, and then I would save them offline um, onto an external hard drive. In the event that my account was ever hacked or anything was ever deleted, I would be able to get back in there and... Uh, and get that information back so I didn't lose it. Um, also, in regards to con, uh, contract management, so we're talking about contact management, but also contract management, guys, Google Docs has been a phenomenal resource, and I'll show you exactly how I have it set up. To back this information up nowadays, it's pretty simple. One, you have it in the cloud. It's already on Google. It syncs to all of your devices. If you were to lose a phone, not a worry. You should have a password on your phone, but you can also just go in and change your password. Um, you know, so that that phone then becomes, uh, you know, ir irrelevant. No one will be able to log in and get that information. There's a company, it's a Google app. It's called Spanning Backup, S-P-A-N-N-I-N-G, backup.com. And what it does is it logs onto your Google account every single morning. It's a Google app. logs on every single morning, I think at 9 a.m., and it backs up all of your contacts, all of your calendar events, all of your Google Docs, and all of your emails. So you get totally wiped out, go back online and repopulate it. And it, it's better than doing it yourself because it does it automatically every single day. Okay, so here's my uh, less than stellar video quality that I'm going to give you um, to, to kind of show you how I use the system. So uh, I, I know that you're not going to be able to see this um, exactly as it is. 
uh, but you should get a good enough idea. So my problem with Top Producer is when you load the, the screen, you have different tasks. Uh, for instance, like if you've got your task t screen, um, you know, you have, it, it's just too crowded. So here's what I have, uh, and I'll start from scratch. So I'll, I'll go ahead and open up Google Chrome, and then I got, first thing I open up is Calendar, next thing I open up, let me log in, Alright, so I open my calendar up. The next thing I open up is my inbox. And these are all quick tabs here. Next thing I open up is my contacts. Next thing I open up is Google Docs. I also use Google Voice. Guys, m my whole team has got onto Google Voice. It's really nice. If you go away for a week or whatever, you can transfer the number so it rings to, it makes the number that you're used to using with everybody else ring to someone else's cell phone. Phenomenal tool. Um, okay, so everything is in the calendar. So let's say I get a call right now from, uh, you know, from Bob Smith. So I'm going to go into my contact management system. And so Mr. Bob Smith's going to call me. And uh, I'm going to record his name, right? Pretty simple. Then I'm going to go ahead and I have different groups, um, you know, and you can create as many as you want. So I have active listing clients, active buyer clients, contract listing clients, contract buyer clients, closed seller client, closed buyer client, buyer lead, seller lead, you know, agents, um, you know, dead leads, I mean, you name it, lenders, contractors. So this guy, Bob Smith, is, we're going to make it a test. Um, so I'm going to record that in his name. And if anyone out there is Bob Smith, I'm sorry, I mean this, I mean no offense. Um, so I'm going to make him a buyer lead. So I just, it's simple, I check the box and hit apply. So now it shows up as a buyer lead. And I'll tell you why this is so important. So if his email is test at gmail.com, his phone number is 123-456-7890. Okay, it's in there. So now today, here, here's how, and I'm going to show you how this works so flawlessly. So today is the 3rd of December. I'm military, so I do 3DEC12, and then I just put a couple of dots. I wrote, talk to Bob on the phone. Uh, you know, he needs to get qualified prior to showing, whatever the notes are, you know, um, you know, whatever, whatever we talk about, I'm just going to go ahead and, and record it in the note sheet. Now, let me tell you why this is so important to have it in your contact, because it, it, it's so very important, because now if Bob Smith calls me on my phone, uh, his name's obviously going to come up on my phone because he's in my caller ID. But all I have to do is touch his name, and I can look at every note from Bob Smith and I's conversations in the past so I can see wh exactly what's going on all on one page. You want to email him, you hit the button for email. You want to call him, you know, you're using Google Voice, it lets you hit the button and you, and you can call him. Um, so now, say I talk to Bob Smith and I get him in touch with my lender, I'm going to make notes of that. And, uh, you know, I'm going to put a follow-up call. I'm going to tell them that I'm going to get back in touch with them on Thursday to see what's going on. So now I go ahead and create, you know, a new, um, I went back, I'm sorry, I'm used to moving through this so fast. So now I was on my contacts. So I created Bob Smith. Look, I just touch it, copy it, right? Go to my calendar page. So now I've got a lead. His name is Bob Smith. He's getting in touch with, uh, with the lender. So I'm going to create an event. Oops. It looks like I messed it up. So it's pretty simple. I'm going to create event, Bob Smith test. And when do I want to talk to him? I want to talk to him on, you know, I moved to the little calendar. I want to talk to him on Thursday the 6th at, you know, say I talk to him today at noon. And he might be around at noon. I usually put the time that I talk to someone because that's a good chance that they might be around at that time. So I just put that there, and then I make it a calendar event lead. Now my calendar events, I have Jimmy appointment, Jimmy to do, lead, Lisa appointment, Lisa to do, that's my listing rep, Liz, she's our admin, then I got a Melissa and Jimmy calendar, uh, that's personal items, uh, and then I've got Val, uh, she's my buyer's agent, appointment and Val to do. So I'm going to go ahead and make this uh, lead for me to follow up with uh, on Thursday. So now as, as the days progress, you know, the nice thing is you never have to think about what you're going to do next. It's just follow what's going on in the calendar. So today is Monday, um, you know, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday passes. So check this out. If you notice, red for me is an appointment. That means red is, is, is an appointment. Something's booked. So uh, the first, if you notice, I book, actually, I'll show you. Uh, you can see every day 
uh, from 9 to noon. I'm booked because that's my time to, uh, to, to get people qualified to, to buy and sell houses. So I'm back, I'm back on Thursday where I put Bob Smith. So the first thing that's going to happen, I'm, bo I'm booked. I'm going to delete it, right? Uh, and then I'm going to go progress or, you know, through, my, uh, through my contacts. So there's a, a gentleman here. You know, his name, without reading it out loud, his name's Tim. So I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my contacts, and I just type it in there. And so now I've got his name, his email, his phone numbers, his property address. And then if you notice, I've got, uh, you know, information through here, everything that we've ever talked about, we've ever sent them, um, whatever's going on. So I'm going to call uh, Tim. He's the first one I have. I'm going to call him first thing or whatever the action is. Uh, I'm going to make notes of what we talked about. And then it automatically saves, by the way, whenever you do anything. And then, so say Tim and I schedule an appointment for the 13th. I'm going to go ahead and move this to the 13th. And uh, now I don't go on the appointment, so I'm going to send it to my listing agent. So I'll make it a Lisa appointment. Uh, and then I'll just go ahead and save it. So now Lisa will go in there. When that time comes up, she'll know she has an appointment for that day, that time. She'll be able to read all of the notes that are, that are going on. So I'm going to discard. I'm going to hit this button and discard the changes I made there. Uh, so it, it's taken care of. You know? So as I progress through the events, through my day, I got to do items. I've got leads. You, know, you can see Red's appointment. We're all booked there because we have our weekly team meeting. Um, so you can see when I come up to at, at 12 o'clock, Bob Smith's going to come up and he's a test. So I'm going to click that. I'm going to say, what do I got to do with Bob Smith? I'm going to copy it. I'm going to go to my contacts, and I'm just I'm going to type it in. And I have all of Bob Smith's information from, you know, what, what has been said back and forth, where he's at in the process. I can make notes on what needs to be done next. Um, and then when I get him qualified and want to start scheduling appointments with him, uh, I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and take that Bob Smith. So say I book an appointment, so I'm going to follow up with him on Thursday. Uh, at noon. So I talked to him. He's qualified by the lender. Now I'm going to book an appointment with him uh, for my buyer's agent, Val, to go ahead and meet up with him on Saturday. So I can just go ahead and go click on Saturday and the time, say the time is 11 o'clock. They're going to have showings and then I just make it a Val appointment um, and then I would, uh, and then I just hit save. So it's pretty simple. Keeps everybody, you know, on the same page. Now here's what, here's what I like. The idea is that, and we'll actually just go back to last week, and I'll show you my entire calendar for the week before. Okay, so if you can see the calendar is empty, the idea is that you never leave anything behind. If there's something that's a, a day or two behind, it's because it's not done. Uh, and it lets you visually very easily, and you can see I always have, this is actually last week, you can see I always have way more things to do and people to follow up with. Um, now, they don't all necessarily know that I'm following up with them. I kind of you know, use my own judgment as far as where I put them in the calendar. Keeps everyone, regardless of, of how many people you have in your staff, you know, using a shared calendar keeps everybody on the same page. So the calendar is essentially just the name of the perps and so that you can type them into your contacts and reference anything that's transpired um, and, and know what to do next. Now when somebody becomes a client, we've got our uh, Google Drive here. Um, so I go into Google Drive, I've got a folder at start, it's called My Business. Right, so obviously it's 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 my business here, and uh, so we'll just click on it. So I've got a clients folder, an educational library folder, and then I've got a personal folder here. Um, you know, uh, let me actually let me go back. So if I go to my clients folder, you know, I've got uh, I've got all it's called the all forms button. So this is where my team gets all of their information that they need for uh, for a deal. They've got blank offers, blank listing agreements. Uh, they've got incoming messages. They've got listing presentations. Whatever they need, it's here. Now they, it's actually the the name of this folder is all forms. Do not edit. Print or download only. I'm the only one who edits any of these forms, and they're the forms that we use for our templates um, for for what to do or essentially our checklists. Um, and then we have, uh, you know, subcategories. So you've got active buyers, active listings, contracts, um, and you can make whatever categories you, you want to make. The whole idea and premise is, say you have an active buyer, uh, or, or an act, say, okay, well, say you've got an active listing. So you're going to go ahead and, um, so here's one we just put on the market. Actually, I think we got, uh, got an offer coming on this. So I have the listing contact activities notes. So on one page on that form, I've got everyone who's involved in the transaction settlement date, who's involved with the sale, all on all on one page, and it's kind of a go by. It's it's a checklist. 
that, uh, that where, where you write the detailed instructions, the team member signs off on the date that they did it, and they put their name, and they write the word done right next to it now. So when I go through, I just scroll down, I look to make sure that everything's done, and uh, you know I know we're on top of things. So um, it's nice, because let me make sure this thing's centered here. All right. So at, at the end of the day, I found that the uh, that using everything to Google, it's not the most sophisticated system. You would absolutely be bashed if you told the people at Top Producer that you had something so simple it uses Google Calendar, Google Contacts, um, and Google Docs. Uh, but it, it really lets you take the time away from focusing on learning a system so that you can focus on the work that you need to do every day to make deals happen. Um, and one thing I didn't go into, actually there's a lot of stuff I didn't go into, I just want to, you know, you can use it and customize it however you want to, obviously, but one thing that I didn't go into was the fact that when I read through my contacts, you know, I told you about like active listing client, active buyer client, um, you know, buyer lead, seller lead, whatever categories you come up with, that's how you do your mailings. You know, you can do a simple export for all buyer leads, and you want to let them know about the new uh, FHA guidelines that are going to be coming through here in 2013. You know, you can send it to them by email. You know, that's how you keep in touch with an entire database. You know, you can make subcategories if you want, um, you know, and, and then it's pretty simple. So you, then the question might be, whereas like Top Producer kind of automates it, and it might send that stuff out to them automatically. You know, there's a little bit of manual uh work needed by you, you have to know when to do it. So you can make a recurring event, you know, a once a month event in your calendar as a to-do action uh, where you say, contact everyone in my buyers list. So instead of sending some generic piece of material that top producer created, you can write a customized letter and uh, have that something that's more applicable to the person you're sending it to. You can have them get that. It's, it seems to be much more well received than using stuff from top producer as well. Sure, I know you can customize it, but guys, honestly, there's too much customization, in, uh, in my opinion, too much customization in Top Producer. Um, when I used it uh, at one time, I had an admin who I got trained up on Top Producer, and uh, you know it was so complex that if he was off or, or out sick or whatever, I, I couldn't use the system. So I, I didn't like it for that, that reason. And then the other times where I put it into place, I had to take so much time away from my own schedule and the things that I needed to do to make business happen to train somebody else to use it. You know. If, if, if you spend more time learning how to use a system than just showing someone how to use it, uh, you know, I think you should be able to show someone how to use a system in, over the course of a couple of hours. It should be intuitive. And too many contract, contact management systems are not. Guys, you know, large companies, Verizon, uh, your utility companies, they're dealing with hundreds and thousands of clients and accounts. We're not. We're on a much smaller scale. You know, I think at the agent level, you know, you, you can use this system, uh, you know, we're in, we're in the 60 range, 65 range for transactions. Uh, you can, I feel that comfortable knowing I could use the system up into the hundreds range, uh, you know, so, I mean, essentially it's unlimited. And then if you're, if you're at that large of a, of, of, a, of a range in regards to transactions, you know, you, you, you can have, you know, sub leads, you know, team leads to, and so each of them can kind of essentially run their own. So it's limitless as far as, as how you use it. It's easy to train people on, and uh, it syncs with all the devices you carry around on, on a daily basis. Like I said, I've tried with much disappointment all of them that are out there, and I'm, I'm only off the top of my head thinking of Top Producer, Realty Juggler, and Constant Contact. I, you know, I, when I was test, in my testing phase several different occasions, I would go into Google and I would type in, uh, you know, real estate contact management system or contact management system, and I was running a test on everything that I could to try and find the best system. And you know, oftentimes my coach Dirk Zeller used to tell me, you know, don't try and get something 100% perfect because that last 5% will kill you. If you've got something 95% good, you're going to get more results from using it on a daily basis than trying to fix that last 5%. So, guys, you know, if it helps, awesome. If you got any questions, just let me know. Um, you know, uh, so hope it helped. Thanks so much. Catch you later. And thank you for the invite to the Real Estate Masters Guild.